going on, Ram? Pussio, my little pickle, kombucha. Tyler J, what's cooking, These bro? These nuts. Have a nice How's day. How's it going, YouTube? Good to see you guys. It's poppin'. You know, the only reason I said what's poppin', I, li I clicked pop out, chat. I never say what's poppin'. It's popping. Hey, guy from a crowd, what's bro? What's bro? Hey, guy from a crowd, what's bro? What's bro? Hang on, guy. Malthus, the vine, let him cook. Hang on, buddy. Scaffy, hurry, Pookie. Pookie, you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Chasm Skulker. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, guy. Josh Faldaus. What's happening, bro? Call me Ro. ZD, hang on, buddy. Tyler J, thank you for the 40 months. It's 12, 24, 36. That's three and a half years. I mean, we're getting close to that four year mark, aren't we? April. I think in like three years, it's four months of, uh, four years of streaming. In about four months. In about two months. In about two months, I think it is four years of streaming. It's pretty crazy. Patty G, what's cooking, buddy? Four, five, six, one, two, three. Love the username. I've never noticed the, uh, the amazing digits at the end. Keep the beard going. This is only because I didn't want to, I didn't want sensitive skin today, so... You know, I was being a little bit precious. Noms, bro. Bro, I know you're going to get the bait flowing with this English copium puffers. This is a bit of an impromptu stream. I wasn't really planning on doing this today, but I woke up and I thought this would actually be kind of interesting. I, I do lie though. I um I have actually thought about making this a video in the past. And I, I filmed probably like 50 gigabytes of footage, um, but then it just like sat on my hard drive. Which is a bit stupid, isn't it? Uh, but then I was like, why not just do it live? And then we can just look at it together. It's kind of funny. I know that the sea, I know how to say chasm, bro. It was a joke. It was doing a thing. It was a bit. It was a bit. I know it's chasm skulker. Effect sport. I like watching on YouTube. Good to know. Okay. Noted. Dunoir. What's up, Jay? What's going on, Dunoir? Thank you for six months of sensei, you legend. Shy guy mystic. What's cooking? Hey, you know what? Uh... What the, what is Chiz? What is Chiz? A Brit, a swindle, a nuisance. German sausage? A word you just throw in a sentence to spice it up? To Chiz someone is to cheat or swindle them. I never. Chiz is chasm. Riz. Zanga fam, I just broke up for some reason on YouTube account today. What's good? What's good? I didn't... I don't... Wait, did... Can you see the solar eclipse anywhere else in the world? Or can you only see it in... Is it only in a... a can... Well, it was last night was evening. So how can I see the solar eclipse when the moon is... And the sun is down? Yeah, I can't see... Does that mean I'll get a solar... Clips in Australia. I can't. It would be impossible to see the solar eclipse when us all solar eclipses are NA exclusive. <laughs> Fucking region locked again. No. Four years is kind of crazy, isn't it, Tyler? <laughs> it's only visible at certain places. Yeah, because while you guys were having the solar eclipse. I was in bed sleeping. Bro, that's called a lunar eclipse. When the moon passes the sun. Right? Four years ago, Mr. Paul hadn't spiked my Pokemon CAD prices. Hang on, bro. Hey, Faith and Science, what's cooking, buddy? <laughs> Ryan K, the answer to the title, yes. Okay, that's it. We're done. Everyone leave. Go, go, go. Go do something else. Bye. Go somewhere else. We're done. Ryan K says it's Jova. Hey, a quick update for you guys. Uh, I did... So I made a... Um, if you're a channel member here at YouTube, I am starting to do like regular updates and exclusive content as I'm editing the longer vids. That way there's just like not a big absence. I did put up a quick update video last week that you guys may have seen. And I talked about something that was a little sensitive. 
because I didn't really want to bring it up in mainstream because for reasons. Anyway, um, it's good news. Stitch is doing really well. So Stitch gave us a really, really, really big scare last week, um, which was really bad. That was really scary. And she has turned around like significantly. So Stitch is still old and like unwell. Um, or not really like Stitch is still old. She has a few tumors around her body at the moment, which is like expected for like an older dog. So like, that's just like reality. Uh, but she had, she was really bad last week. Like really, really, really bad. So, um, it's good. Cause she's made a big turnaround. Like she, she's getting up on her own. It's like, she wasn't able to get up on her own last week. So she was just like lying there. She couldn't really walk and she was really lethargic. So all those are like really bad signs and were really, really stressful. But, uh, then I was playing Final Fantasy, you know, last weekend and I'm just sitting on the couch and Stitch is in front of me in her bed and she just gets up and turns around and I was like, and then the rest of the day, she was like a little bit more mobile and she was just walking around a bit more. And then as the days have gone on, she's just kind of gotten back to how she normally is. So, um, it's really good news. So that's, that's just so I would share that as has been a good week. Um, to see Stitch doing all the things that she does, like come up and give you kisses, um, go on her back for belly rubs, just dog things. So it's been cool. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd, I'd just update you guys on that because I was talking a little bit about it a couple weeks ago and I, yeah, mentioned it in the update vid. Um, what do Twitch subs get? Hey, Twitch subs, I'm sorry. I'm trying to work out how I can link all the um, Patreon and channel member exclusive content to Twitch subs. So let Blenny and I cook through that this week. I've got a uh, Perth regionals this weekend. My life is like kind of come back to reality. It was like, it's been a really bad month. It's been, I was going to, now I'm going to trauma dump. It's been a terrible month. It's been a horrid shit month. It sucked. The last month has been bad. I don't like to really project that on the channel. That's all I'm going to say is that the last month shit. It was really bad. I hated it. Um, but things are kind of turning around now. So that's good. We're in a good spot. So let me work through that with Blend Dogger and we'll get you guys the exclusive content. Cause there's like Japan vlogs. Um, I'm going to keep updating the Japan vlogs there too, as well as I'm editing the Japan videos, which is just let me cook. Let me cook. Um, you have our support. Love you. Hey, thank you so much. Fluke cook. Your cousin's dog passed away. I'm sorry to hear that chasm. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Pets, man, they kill you. They kill you. They give so much and then they just uh, rip it out. Yeah, it was bad, bad weekend. Uh, Manny, thank you for eight months of Sensei. You absolute gem. I was just thinking I got nothing to watch at 2.30. 2.30 a.m. for you. Are you British? What the hell? How late is it? Unless you're like, you've got to be, uh, you're East Coast, aren't you? Is it that late? No way it's that late in New York. Where do you live? Don't dox yourself. <laughs> Thanks, eight months. If I look at the song long enough, will I be able to see the eclipse every day? Don't look at the sun. Jeff, if I look directly at the sun and I'm half blind, don't look at the sun. Um, yes, Japanese cards do look better than English cards. It's a fact and scientists are working on finding out why. Maybe we'll learn why one day. Okay, have a great day, everyone. See you next stream. <laughs> ah, it's only 940. What are you guys complaining about in the East Coast? Vice Games, thanks for coming down. What's good, buddy? All right, let's cook. Let's get into this. So today I just wanted to go through looking at uh, Japanese cards compared to English cards. Really, really straightforward. I've got a whole bunch of different cards here, um, English versions and Japanese versions. I'm always like real apprehensive about doing this because I don't like touching my cards. Even when I touched the Umbreon today, I was like, I've bottled it. Um, I get really like, I just get funny about it because like I don't want to wreck them and then like I put the Umbreon on the mat and it like slid on the mat and then like hit the side of a top loader and I'm like does that mean it's over like did that just like implode the card am I an idiot um am I stupid I get really stressed out but I have a whole bunch of different cards we're just gonna look at GX cards today guys that's it just GX cards and then that's the end of the stream I actually don't know where to start with these. Like, where do you want to start? Do you want to start this era? Do you want to start... Do you want to start Scarlet Violet? Do you want to start Sun and Moon? Do you want to start Sword and Shield? Majority of these are going to be Sword and Shield. Admittedly, I don't really collect... I mean, actually, there's a bit of a gap in my Sword and Shield. Because, like, I didn't really chase cards like... Uh, like Giratina. V. 
the and like Lugia V. I wonder how expensive how much how expensive is a Lugia V? In English, like 130. Is that US or is that US or is it uh, Australian? I was comparing these exact two cards not long ago. The English is way too saturated. It's a really, it's a really minor difference, isn't it? You'll see this. I mean, you can all, you can already kind of see it now, looking at it from afar. GX Swish SV is fair because it can show how Pokemon's manufacturing changed. Good shout, Fluka. Oh, this is probably 170. Is it even like worth? Is it worth buying? Is it worth buying it? Maybe I should. Maybe I should try and get deals. Maybe I should try and get deals. Okay, let's start. So we have two cards here. And I think you're gonna, you're gonna see this across the board when it comes to GX cards, right? There is a level of saturation on these cards. You can already see it with Lily's face. It just looks a little bit more pink on the left. Hey, what's going on Formula 1, man? Thanks for coming down, buddy. Games? Games, yeah? Jamie Gill, did I say hello? What's going on, Jamie? Start from Saw, Sun, Moon to Switch to SV and go up on Rarity. Yeah, we'll probably do something like that, eh? So you're not really going to see a texturing difference on these two. You're going to see a color difference, though. Games? And you can already kind of see it. Sogaleo's fur, or like mane, looks like just a little tinge oranger. I don't know. I kind of feel like I like the sun, the um, the English version better, but I don't know. It's it's very interesting, isn't it? It's this is much oranger. Yes, that's the word. Yes, this has got a cool test. Tess, come over and can run the stream. Go to yes. Cool tone on the Japanese. Warm. I'm like, I'm thinking of. I'm like, what the? What's the word? It's warm. Warm. There's a warm tone on the right on the English version. On the Japanese version, it's cooler. The English makes it look more vibrant because it's saturated. But I don't know if you like that. Do you like that? Because this is like, cool tones are supposed to be like the natural version, right? But just looking at Lily's face, it's just white. You can see it here. There's also, it kind of looks smudged on the English version too. Like it kind of looks smudged. It looks like there's like Vaseline on it. What's going on, Moma? As for texture though, it's very, very similar. Although, is it? Well, there's no texture, it's flat. I think the gloss and the holographic is pretty much the same. I think it depends how saturated. Some colors look worse when saturated in some Pokemon, especially green Pokemon. There's definitely like a Vaseline. It feels like there's like a blur on the right. I have got another couple of... Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go down into the basement. Give me a second, guys. It was the wrong box. Actually, one second. Dude, I had it. I was so prepared.
I had it. Dude, I had everything. I'm so stupid. I had it all here. There's a floating... There's a floating Gengar. Wait. It was all here. Washed. There's a Gengar and a Ladia somewhere. <sighs> which one, which one does it better? I'm going with the I'm going with the Japanese. I'm going with the Japanese. I don't like I don't mind the saturation on the right, but I'm not a big fan of how it like kind of looks like a little bit smudged. It's definitely gonna be Japanese. Okay. What I actually want to do is I want to compare that to like the equivalent rarity in Japanese, but for sword, uh, sword and shield. Here's the big binder. This is like the binder. And we're gonna get, to, we're gonna get to these cards. You'll see them in a second. This is like the binder. I was actually going to make a video about this this week, but I ran out of time. So it's going to go into the, uh, it's going to go into the next year category. Now we're going to get to these cards, these, these, especially this one is what I want. Let's go to Adept, you know? Hey, what's going on Metri? Thanks for the super chat. You bloody chat. Just finished your stream. Dude, that stream was wild. Where were those cards coming from? Vert, what's going on, buddy? As an English collector, Japanese is winning. Damn, it's even more noticeable on uh, on these two when you hold them side by side. Jesus. Now, I think objectively, you got to say that the Japanese version is better for this. The English wins? It's so saturated. That's not even what Espeon looks like, though. If I were to visit Australia, should I actually be scared of freaky insects? No, man. The only thing you got to be scared of or like legitimately worried about is snakes. But just don't walk through tall grass and you'll be fine. This is an insane difference. Espion is not pink. It's not pink. Peace out, Kenny the Expendable. Be careful of uh, the octo the uh, the octopus as well, the blue ring ones. Australia's like walking into Route One without a Pokemon and finding Ekans. A little bit like that. Only if you walk through the tall grass. Now this is crazy. That's a that is a stark contrast. And I don't I don't think I've even noticed that before this stream. It's not like I know that the Japanese cards always look better, but I've not actually like appreciated how different that is. I gotta say the printing is pretty much identical. Although the Japanese version, it's a little bit, it sticks out a little bit more. The Espeon from the cart, from like the background. But I'm not sure if you can really capture it looking at it. You can kind of see it at that angle. Look around the left side of Espeon's face. The thing is when you're looking at this card, you don't real like you don't notice it, right? But when you look at this next to this, you it's very like it's a very clear difference. But you don't really notice it.
The hollow is behind the Espeon, but on top of the Espeon in English. Oof. Nah, I'd say it's the same, but the the embossed like part of Espeon is a little bit more pronounced than the English one on the Japanese one. If I'm looking at regular Vs, it's the sleeve it and throw it in a box never to be seen again. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. these. The English ones are fine. You can kind of see it. That You can see it there, right? You can... It's very obvious when you look at it at that angle. Yeah? You can see it. I feel like there's a bigger difference in the base EX cards. As in like Scarlet Violet or like the original ones. Japanese Espion is, is a buoy? No, it's Effie. Effie. Base EX cards in SV suck in English. I think we kind of did this when the cards first came out. But see, when you're looking at the English one, it doesn't look that bad. Like it actually looks kind of cool, but it's very light. Like it's very bright, right? The brightness is ramped up. And when, when you get these on certain angles, they actually look great. But I think for like, uh, it looks better for like dark and maybe fire. Some of the colors don't lend well to in English, right? Like they don't really lend well. That looks better. You can, the sparkles, the hollows are much more pronounced, right? It's really hard to capture that on the English version. And then when you hold them side by side, like the Japanese clear. English EX SV cards are so inconsistent with their saturation. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? I personally hate the full card being a hollow on these base EX cards. I much prefer vintage EX approach to hollows where it's either in the art or outside only. Oh, uh, you don't... But see, the thing with that is that you'd never notice it, Fluka, until someone points it out. It's especially on the English. Like, on the English, you cannot see the rest of Gardevoir. You just can't tell that it's there. You can kind of see it on the... You, no, you can see it on the Japanese version. It's very hidden on the English version. But you only ever really notice that when someone points it out. So if you've never noticed that before, Fluke has just broken your world, right? That you can see the rest of Gardevoir because you can see their waist. You can see the waist and the, the dress, right? Not so much on the English, but if you look at the Japanese one, you can see it much, much more. See it there, right? Japanese clears though, for sure. Because you can actually see like the hollow effect at multiple angles and it really sparkles. But it, honestly, they don't look too bad when you look at them on their own. But then when you, you just, the second you put them side by side, it just, it's insane. Even the hollow like just hit like the, the diagonal, uh, the foil hollow, whatever we're calling that. What are we calling that, right? We got the sparkle and we got the diagonal hollow. Like it just hits better on the Japanese version. It legit looks like the English one has sat in the sun for a month. It's weird, really weird, isn't it? All right, so there are your base. There's your base uh, Vs, right? We should do Mu and Mu, uh, Mu V. Mu V Max. All right, let's look at a VMAX, right? Where the 
hell is Mu VMAX? Wait, was Mu VMAX? Mu VMAX was in uh, V Star Universe, right? This is a full on blowout on the VMAX? Here we go. It's Infusion Arts and VMAX Climax. All right. Whoa. It just looks blurry on the right when you look at it next to the English version. <laughs> they honestly, they don't even look, but they don't, the thing is crazy. They don't look too bad, but they look really like crazy different when you put them side by side. It's not even close. Like the swirl around all of it that, sp that spirals out, right? Is just not even, it doesn't even exist on the English version. It's kind of there. It's kind of there. I'm honestly, I'm doing my best to hold these at the same angles, right? Is it due to the thickness of the cards messing with the texture? It's weird though, because Japanese cards are a little bit thinner than English cards, right? But they have better texturing. So it's like there's another layer going on the English cards that's like... But what is that extra layer? We do know that TPCI allegedly, allegedly do not share the exact printing process with TPC, the Japanese arm of Pokemon Card, the, the, the Pokemon Company, Japan, do not share the printing process with TBCI, the Pokemon Company International. Creatures Inc. is an arm of TPC in Japan. TPC, I'd be like, you can print out cards and say it's from us, but we won't tell you how to make them. <laughs> well, you guys all saw that video where they were showing how the cards are printed, right? This is, there's this one other really weird thing though. Where just Mew looks like it's underneath. It looks like it's underneath another layer. It just looks like it's like underneath some other layer, like it's trapped. Looks like they just sprinkled a, a layer of dust on top. Hey Merc, I didn't see you jump in. What's going on, buddy? All right. Let's look at some totally different cards. Actually, I want to look at these cards, right? We get a bit to go through here. Not them. Going crazy here. Is that the thing? I had an insane comparison. Where did I leave them? We'll come back to it. 
All right, let's look at these. Have I looked at the basic English EXs? Just before, yeah. All right. The first character is... Saturation again. There's really not a huge difference outside of the saturation. I just wonder why they are saturated that, that little bit, right? Do you reckon it's it's an intentional it's like a design choice do you think it's a design choice though do you think the west just prefers to see characters with like pinker skin you think it looks fake Yeah, Vert. The Japanese looks more crispy. It almost looks like 4K versus not 4K. Nice, dude. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like, HD. Why didn't you say like 720p? <laughs> There's only 4K and not 4K now. There's like this... It's like a, a layer of Vaseline. I want to keep saying it. The white border is definitely like significantly better for these. The, like significantly better. Whether you're like a traditionalist and you think only... Like, Pokemon cards should only have yellow borders. I don't think that's part of the discussion when it comes to the character rares or art rares. They just objectively look better with the um, with the flat border without the yellow kind of, like, interfering with it. There are some art rares and character rares that look, or character rares that look okay with the yellow border that work, like Pikachu. This one kind of works a little bit. There's some that don't, though, at all, and that's what, that's what kind of ruins it. You guys are saying that the hollow is better on the English version. Really? It's going for a frisky squid. R really? Really? Nerd Doom, what's cooking, bro? Thank you for the raid. What's going, brother? What'd you get up to today? Thanks for coming down. Thanks for sharing some love. Can, Nerd Doom, can you see the difference here in the hollow? Chat's saying that the hollow looks different. Even the bubbles in the back are more clear on Japanese. Yes, that is a good point. There are like these bubbles that you can see there that you can't, it's harder to see them or the rest of them on the English version. Yeah, I'm really curious about that saturation choice though. Like whether that is a, a definitive um, design decision. Thanks for the raid, Nerd Doom. Make sure to check them out. What were you streaming today? Okay, let's see if that carries over to last gens. If someone wants to send me a um, Magikarp and Whale Lord special art from uh, the Sun and Moon era, the English version, I can very quickly do a comparison for you guys. Scarlet DLC, I still haven't finished it, dude. I've only done um, uh, Teal Mask. I haven't done Indigo Disc. This is a little bit harder to see. It's much harder to see. It doesn't look as saturated as... Uh, like a little bit. It looks a little bit warmer. What if TBCI did this to make card text more legible? Do you think? Nah, I don't think so. We put our own little spin on it. See, our cards have a little more shine to it, a little more pop. Is that what that's the actual quote? It's kind of funny. Charizard looks more orange. Do you think that's the yellow playing tricks on you, on your eyes though? Like when you look at that, do you think the yellow border is doing that to your eyes? It's harder to see the saturation on Leon, but you can see it on the Zard. You like the yellow border on this one? That's brazy, dude. Really? To each their own. I'll remember that. Forever. Bird has bad taste. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a joke. Don't cry. It's a joke. Now, I think this is one where the... I Personally, I think this is one where the yellow kind of like makes it awkward. 
How's the holo looking? JPN looking better on purpose makes sense. Is why people don't gravitate to Korean cards or Thai. It is, it is why you see Indonesian copage. I, people have said to me before, like, if you don't want to get the expensive English version and you're collecting purely for the texture, get the Indonesian version. And I'm like, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to start splitting my collection up. I'm a traditionalist. I'm a hardcore traditionalist. It's the Korean cards that look more like English cards, but have the Japanese back. Do they? Wait, do they have the Japanese back, the Korean card? They have the English back, don't they? Very hard to see a difference on the holo with those. I would say that these character rares are similar enough to, just to go with the cheapest copy sold if the JP character is five times. Well, the Japanese character rare is like $3. I don't know how much the English one is. All right, and I got these two here. Isanos, what's going on Isanos? Thanks for coming down. I got Hoot Hoot in JP because the yellow board in English on it just didn't look good. I remember that being an awkward card in English. I don't know why I'm holding them in the sleep. I think this is a card where the saturation kind of ruins it. But I can't really see it. I It's not as bad. Oh. You guys keep saying the holo on the Japanese one looks better, but I cannot. I gotta give it to I gotta give it to TBCI. I can't see a huge difference in the holo. I can't see it. I gotta give it to them. I can't see it. They've done a very good job at replicating it. How much is this now in English? When I pulled this, I thought it was pretty funny. Like that, if you. Nah, you, you could you could fool me. It looks very similar to the Japanese holo. Yeah, Jake, I agree with you, man. I think they did a pretty good job with SVR rare. The holo looks grainy on English. What? Are there print lines on English? It's more of a Japanese thing, isn't it? This is really weird. I gotta go I feel like I gotta go with the English version on this. I find I, that's really weird. I feel like I'm lit, I'm gravitating towards the English version looking better than the Japanese one here. I'm not I'm not even doing that to grief. It generally just looks a little bit like this looks too dark. The, the Japanese version looks too dark. Now I reckon they cooked here. I reckon they cooked. Twenty USD currently in English. I reckon they cooked with the English one. That is really weird. I think due to the saturation, the English shows the Pokemon better. Ghastly is like way... Okay, okay, wait, can you see this? Ghastly looks way more pronounced out of the... Of, like from the rest of the, the mons on this. I think that's why. I think that's why. That's what it is. Ghastly looks more pronounced. The rest of the background looks darker. Whoa, that's weird ass. That is so weird. You can see it. No, you can 100% see it. They have made the no. They've made the ghastly more pronounced in the Japanese version. In the English version, they've brought all all the Pokemon are as pronounced as the ghastly. That's so weird. Why did they do that? You should compare Crown Zenith and V Star Universe Gold cards. Oh, that's coming. That's coming right up. We should do that now. You want to do that now? That you got to admit that is weird as hell. The TBCI just made all the Pokemon pronounced in the English version, but the Japanese version, they've just made ghastly the focus and the rest are a bit darker. Why can I read one of them? Because you can't, you can't read Japanese. Price differences? I'm pretty sure the Japanese ghastly is like two to 400 yen, which is about what? Like a dollar, three US dollars. The English version you guys are saying is like 20. While we're on the while we're on the Gengar topic, yeah, that's so weird. That is so weird that the English that English wins that one. That is bizarre.
don't know why I'm doing this. That way. I can just pick it up. This is where you start to see like more noticeable differences in the texture. Although... The English one is kind of cooking. Very close though. Uh, it's, it depends on the angle. You kind of get it on the English one. It's actually getting better. English is just okay and only at certain angles. It is a bit like that, isn't it? Are we going to eventually compare JP and English XY era cards? When you guys send me XY era cards, I'll do it. In English. A lot of people were predicting that this Gengar was going to be like crazy expensive. I don't think anybody really cares about it, can they? There's a print line. You can see it on Ghastly's third tooth from the left. You will not get those in English cards, those print lines. Yeah, I'm going to say looking a bit better, the English versions. Scarlet Violet, they're, they're doing a decent job. All right, Zanga fan, this one's for you, right? Thank you for the follow, Antu. It's cooking, bro. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Someone call a possum bud to send his Zai trainers to Jluv for science. Okay. Let's get a little bit fancier. Print lines were awful in Paldean Fates, were they really? Alright, Origin Form Palkia V-Star. Not the most pronounced with this texturing though. Compared to um, the Giratina. These gold cards are so criminally underrated. Agreed, Taco. By the way, I saw your message, sorry about Perth. I will be in Perth Friday, Saturday, Sunday for Perth Regionals. Honestly, they did a decent job in the English version. Close. The English version has the thumbprint, right? JP bought his flash like mad compared to English. Yeah, that is true. You can see it. On the diagonal. Contrast is way better on JP. They've made Palkia brighter in the English version. Much more brightness. It's this top left, right? The guard rays coming down that you can kind of see in the English print, right? But you can see much better in the Japanese print. But it's not very pronounced on this card. Giratina is probably better to show the difference between the golds. Yeah, I'll be in Perth for Perth Regional, so that's four days. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm not the biggest fan of like the really dark Palkia. I kind of like the brighter Palkia. I don't mind the English version. I think the English version actually looks decent. But there's more texture on the Japanese version. What's going on, Rock Boy? Do I have the Arceus? I don't have the English Arceus, so I can't do a great comparison. I do have the Giratina, though. So we can look at the Giratina.
Why do you keep calling me Julian? Why, why do you keep calling Julian? <laughs> Very weird. You're a weird unit. Tina's great for this comparison. Although, I'm, I'm being, I'm being like, I'm going in with predisposition. I'm like, the Japanese one smokes the English one. But I actually haven't really looked at the English one too closely. Although, okay, having said that, it looks like just it's clearing it already. It's kind of there, but not really. The Japanese one clears it. That's crazy. I think this angle here, I cannot capture that angle in the English version. No matter how hard I try, I cannot capture it. The Japanese texture is too much. Smokey, do you think it's too much? Hey, peace out, nerd dude. Next coming down, man. Like, I can't capture it. I can get close. I feel like that's about as close as I'm getting. English is better. Uh, Joe's in a, like, an antagonist troll arc, so I don't know how serious he'd be about that. You think the texture is detracting? I think the texture is meant to be the focus. For this card. Yeah, you can't capture that texture on the English version. Much brighter. The English version is much brighter too. I feel like that's a design choice. I feel like the West is just more receptive to cards like that. Much brighter. Why can English never replicate Japan's texture? Because allegedly, uh, they do not share the printing technique with TBCI. Is there such a thing as too much texture? Potentially. Joe seems to think so. Japanese texture overkill. Can we check out vapor? Stop saying that, Kevin. How about you? Why don't you go do it in your room? Great for me. Literally giving me a, an income check. My God, I cannot afford the Vaporeon VMAX Japanese. Stop bullying me. Rock will talk about Vaporeon with you all day. Jesus. Well, what was the consensus there in the end? English or Japanese? You reckon Japan? Most people say in Japanese. Vert, who's the nerd emoji? IRL. <laughs> you call me a nerd? Me, bro. I respect Joe's decision. I respect his 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 opinion on that one. I'm kind of partial to it. I will not be made a nerd emoji. I've done it once before. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Personally, I feel that the VS series was done better in Japanese. Funny guy, Ryan. That was the other thing I was going to stream today. I was going to stream everyone saying Japanese. I respect... If you think the English version looks better, I respect it though. Because I can see it. I don't think it's a no contest. I was actually going to start um, sleeping up and putting my VS cards into the binder today. Maybe do that next stream. Oh, you know what? While we were looking at um, art res and character res, we should have looked at these. Let me have a sip. Why am I not playing FF7? Leave me alone, bro. Stop. English is way better on this one, Smokey. Really?
If you are oh, illiterate or have no. poor eyesight, then there is no difference between Japanese and English. Anyways good day I'll catch you all later. The Japanese version clears the English one. This is a clear. Nah, this slaps in English. Good night, Elijah. Brother. Nah, this is a no contest. I think this is a... Nah, I think this is a crazy difference. Oh, it's a sick card. What's going on, Opossum by the It's not a pumping. Please leave me alone. I'm not pumping. We're just looking at the two. You know, we actually had two different instances where the English... We reckon... The, I reckon the English card looks better than the Japanese version. We're not pumping. They do both look good. I think there's just something about the hollow. It's that extra layer on the English version that flattens it. That I think really takes away from it. j is actually a Japanese sire to stimulate... Wait, I can't even... Where's the message gone? I can't see it. Someone called me a sire. <laughs> I can't... It's gone. And my hands are full, so I can't scroll. <laughs> if only you knew. Sami's gem looks more gemmy in the Japanese version. I'd say the, the saturation helps Sami's gem look more gemmy in the English version. I'm, I just can't get over the saturation and like the change in st skin tone. I think it's got to be a West thing. Like, it's got to be a wet, like a Western thing, right? Japanese characters are usually more pale, whiter, West, pinker. They look more American. You can see it. J Love can sigh up and stimulate my. Why are you? Come on, man. I can stimulate nothing. You send me a DM on Discord about Perth. I right, bet. Japanese one has a belly button, so it is the winner. Oh, she has no belly button in English. They... F Whoa, that's weird. You reckon that was intentional? That was 100% intentional. We're not pumping anything, Opossum. Come on, Poker Steve. Yeah, they are they are 100% censored that on purpose. They four kids edited out the belly button and made her skin pinker. Nah, it's I know it's not I know no no the attack is raised. There is more text. There is more text, so it raises it, but I reckon they were like good. That is a good save on the censoring there. I don't know, it's coincidental. They, they moved it up. There's an extra line of text on the attack, Swift. They've moved it up. There's a third line of text on the English card. Yeah. And they were like, perfect. Perfect. We can censor the belly button. That's definitely intentional. I like that uh, Misty and the Stami are like embossed. Just like pushed out just a little bit better next card he shows everyone go by 10 all right you ready okay get ready to buy 10 of these guys next card i show you all have to buy 10 of these all right no exceptions fuck your shit up that's what i'm gonna do Both. <laughs> Go, do it. I dare you. I dare you. Where can I get the Janai playmat? This is an income check.
All right, I want to check these out. Now, I think that the Japanese versions of these cards clear the English version. It's like not even a contest. Japanese is so much better for these. God, they cooked so hard with the Japanese. You know what's interesting? Blastoise is bigger in the Japanese version than the English version. Just a little bit bigger. And I don't know if that is because the original Japanese print was bigger too. I'm going to guess that it is. I've never noticed that. I never knew that was a thing. Can someone fact check that for me real quick? English have better borders. Joe's trolling. Yeah, I know. It's a shame, isn't it? No, nah, it is bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Unpopular opinion, but I think the Japanese is just a little busy. I also like the way TPCI did celebrations better in terms of packs. The packs were definitely better for English, but the cards, I think, are just so damn good in Japanese. It's a Watsy thing because of the different layout. Is it? Did someone, can someone fact check the original like the first Blastoise Hollow Japanese versus the English one. Base set, Blastoise. And let me know if the Japanese one is bigger than the English one. From the 90s versus these two. You can't see the texture on the English one that great. It is there, you can see it there. You don't like the English stamp? It's cute. I like it. It's Pika. The Japanese stamp is classier though. Fuck. Look at that. That's crazy. Joe, you can't tell me that this looks worse than the English one. Crazy good. It is also bigger in Japanese base set. There you go. The more you know. So maybe they use the base set to size in. First edition is closer than base set two Blastoise. That is a weird thing. Who's going to tweet about that first? That's a, that is 2,000 likes minimum. Shotgun. Shotty that tweet. Shotty that tweet, Kev. <laughs> Bro, that is 3,000 engagement. The point of these the point of these cards is nostalgia, and the Watsi borders have more nostalgia. There you go, Joe. That's, that's literally what you sound like. This is so crazy. There's a stack of cards I just lost. these two now. Nobody remember the Japanese ones. They look weird. What? Why are you hating for? Japanese clear here. T lock sixty nine. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, bro.
I love the Japanese radians. I think they just hit. Oh, there's this. But see, the English ones don't look too bad either. It's all right. It's not all bad for English. The square texturing is much more pronounced on the Japanese version. So like as you rotate it, you can see like a lot. It looks more pixelated, right? It looks like there's more dot pixels. It looks crazy. It almost looks digital, right? Um, but the English is a like, it's very bright. You can see it clear as day. It's not as pixely. It doesn't look as digital, but it's still very, it's very much so there. The hollow is cooler on JP, but far brighter on N. Just depends what you like. Background matching the silver border is a good touch, Metro. I feel like this chat is a reunion of today's Critical Hit podcast. I'm all for it. You guys are wildin'. I don't know why you're cooking, but you're wildin'. Imagine how much better Sword Shield era would have been if they had switched to silver borders earlier. It would have been better. It's not as bad, though. It's not that bad. I think these are good in their own way. They're different. The English ones, they're, they're, they're good in their own way. This, you can see that much more pixely, digital, digital looking. It looks like a, um, like a light you'd put in the background of like a stream room or something, right? I can't remember what those lights are called. Not as much so here. English is better because the Japanese is too flashy. Really? I don't think it's too, I don't think it's too flashy. Let's look at, you know what we didn't look at? These Sun and Moon full arts. First, let's look at Sun and Moon full arts. Then we'll look at uh, Sword Shield. It's gone rubber. I've never looked at Pokemon cards and thought, man, I wish these were more dull looking. Whoa, you tell him, Taco Jake. Whack, Joe. Now, I think Full Arts got better as time went on. So, there's saturation is there again. Definitely much pinker on the right. Texturing is wild on the JP card. All right, you can see on the English, it's just like the texture just like all blends in and it's all in the front layer. Right? Japanese texture is behind. It is behind. It's not just like Plastered on front, on the front. You can see it there. It's on her hair, but it's not so much on her skin. You get that same angle on English, and it's just all on top. Yeah, this is a JP clear for sure. JP always seems to have an extra depth to it. And I think, yeah, I agree. And I think it's because English always seems to just have a layer printed on the front of it. It's really odd. Warm lily or cool lily? Mm -hmm. 
The Japanese texture gives depth. Yeah. Check edges. Why, you want me to do a condition check? I would sell this card. I don't really care for this card. Dibs? Is this a BSA 10? Am I rich? Am I gonna make it? This looks pretty good. Message deleted by Rubber Yen. That's money. Rubber Yen, you are so petty. My god, you're like four years old sometimes. Should I grade? Am I supposed to grade this? Ask Rubber why he left the J Love server. Uh, you know what? Ask it. People leave the J Love server all the time. I'm <laughs> tired of it. I don't care anymore. You want to go? Go. No one keeping you a gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> English rubbing is better. <laughs> English rubbing is better. That's good. That's good. Oh my god, you left because of um I can't even remember his name. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go, dude. Rubber Yen doesn't like a guy in the J-Love server because he invests in crypto. I think my skin just wrecked the bottom of that card. My colors. Alright. I, I thought I was looking at the English version here. Does it get better? Sword Shield? Same kind of thing. <laughs> this card is so good. I love this card. I was so happy when I pulled this card. Do we still have the video of me kissing it? Did I upload that as a YouTube vid? I think I did. Do you remember when you cosplayed as Clara? Those were the good old days. If I did that now, I would explode out of that outfit. Nah, the Japanese version clears again here. Kiss it again. I love this card. Clara's one of my favorite cards. Clara won me, Clara got me to day two worlds. This card was so good at worlds. I got to I got to day two worlds because of Clara. I love this card. I should kiss this one. That is the one I should be kissing. This card saved me so many games. Kiss it again. I'll kiss it non-stop. I will actually make sweet love to that card. Alright, it's hard really to capture the difference in texture for full arts. Um with these full arts, but I'm going to show you one that you can see night and day just absolutely clears in Japanese. So you see how the this card has like a paintbrush effect on the right, the English one. It's kind of like what the texture is. It's just like these random strokes, right? Finish on it. Jesus Christ, Joe. That escalated. Um, the, this... Okay, Jesus Christ. I don't know why this is in this. Mason Berry said sad. What do you say sad for? Jayla, do you have Eevee Heroes Ray VMAX to compare? Why do people keep trolling me with cards I don't have and they know that I don't have? No, I do not. I don't have an English or a Japanese version. Why can I not open this? Okay, here we go. Okay, this is crazy, the difference between... 
Is this a side loader? I only came in would do this. Put this in a side loader. This got massacred in English. All right, so this has like a paintbrush. You can see the paintbrush texturing, right? I believe this is from Fairy Rise. All right, you can see all the paint strokes. That's the texture on this card, right? Just non-existent. Non-existent on this one. Not even, an attempt wasn't even made. It's massacred, it's crazy. Whoever was in charge of the texturing on this one in English had to leave home early. <laughs> it's a little bit like that, isn't it? Is there a different Mina card in All Stars? There is, it is a different Mina. I think this is the best Mina full art though. I like both low key. Wow, you are brazy for that. I mean, the illustration's fantastic, right? The yo yo would be classic. Um, but the English one is wild. The music is like just a little loud. It's weird, I got people saying turn it up and then I got say people, people say turn it down. Wild night and day difference between these two. Might be a little distracting, but I've been a fan of the more prominent etching in many of the Sun and Moon full art trainers. In English or Japanese? I'm assuming you mean Japanese. Music is a little quiet. Can you turn it up? Stop trolling. Show the uh, TTAS, Mina. I got you. binder of all time. Side loader. I only came in to use a side loader. Can I do a video one day of how I organize my cards in binders? I'm planning to stream that a little bit more. Why is there a pit block here? Yo, what's going on, Marty? Oh my god, this is the best set ever. Can we do a stream of me shaking my gear? This, god, this set is so good. Every time I open up this page, I'm just like, I love it. It's so good. I don't know where I put the Mina. I had him just before. I don't know where I put him. This is GX Tag Team All Stars. Damn, even that section's cool. I like the paintbrush Mina better. Can I do a stream where I shake my Gat? I will stick out my Gat for the Rizla. That's a dead meme, Joe. This binder is. It's the best. This miner is the go. Fuck. 
I waited so long for this to come down in price. I'm glad I did. These are some of the doubles that I have. It's an underrated card. So is the Dedene. Hoarding the Denes, yeah, because the card is underrated. I think... How many cards has Kanahe illustrated? I'm so skibbity, thank you. Kanahe has illustrated very few cards, if many. One? How many have, has Kanahe illustrated? That's why I bought so many of them. I still try to get them as best I can. Because one day... One day the tide will turn and people will start to chase artist binders, right? This is my little thing, right? And when they do, I'll be there. I will have all the Kanahe the den names. Alright. Oh, too close. Alright, more special arts. Well, I think people are getting bored of like people are finding trying to find ways to stay interested in collecting outside of just best card, me happy. Bye Joe. Have a good day, Joe. Collect a different TCG. Don't think it hits the same. This card's so good. That's crazy. The Japanese one just, they clear so hard. Peace out, you spy on me, bruh. That is actually, a, you know, I've been seeing you in the chat all day. That username is actually goaded. You spy on me, bruh. Peace out, bruh. Yeah, I don't understand why they keep putting that, that layer on top. If they didn't put that layer on top, it would be fine. Maybe if you'd open a pride box, you'd understand. I couldn't find one in Japan. Will I compare any hyper rares? You know what? I don't think I pulled them out because I'm stupid. I also don't have that many English hyper rares. From Sun Moon. Hey, peace out, Metri. Thanks for coming down, man. Always appreciate your company. Have a good one, bro. All right, let's have a look at... Let's move on to the Zards. This card looks wild in Japanese compared to English. I think this just looks so much better in Japanese compared to the English version. I like the English version. It's very sparkly, sparkly, shiny Charizard. But these just all look so much better in Japanese. It's a, it's a shame. Because it just looks more sparkly sparkly. It has come down in price a lot. I think it's only about 10,000 yen for the Japanese version now. Oof. What happens to have a Japanese and English shiny Mew SAR? No. I didn't open that much Paldean Fades. I don't even think I own the, the Japanese one. I didn't buy it when I was in Japan. Do I have Mel Metal V from Pokemon Go S tier texture? I do not. Maybe I do. The Japanese one looks so good. It's just not a day difference. It's a shame. Shiny Star V is still one of my favorite sets. I know people don't like it that much because it's not as good as Climax and V Star Universe, but I loved it. It was a special time as well. English does have the swell, just not as profound. Yeah, it's just it is there. It's just not as like like super super clear compared to the Japanese version. You can kind of see it there. Kind of. It's really hard to capture though, isn't it? It's 
to sleep. Sorry, Dino. If you didn't know the Japanese version existed, English would be alright. That is the that's the whole thing, isn't it? Every time you compare the two side by side, it just clears night and day. God, that's so good. You can't get that. Even like the fire on the, the flame, right? The fire on the flame. Really descriptive, but um, even the texture on the flame, right? It's just not there on the English version. You can see there, right? You just can't capture it on the English. Nowhere near as good. I'm just called Mason Weave. That's crazy. Did you already happen to compare SSV Zard and Champs Path Zard? No, because I don't have the Champions Path Zard, so I can't do the comparison. I'm broke. All right, we're in a Zard arc now. What set am I currently trying to complete? <laughs> Good question. Um, VFs. <laughs> it's not any modern set. I'm not really looking at modern at the moment. I'm looking at vintage only. It's kind of popping off. This is a little bit different to some of the other special arts. And alternate arts. This Zard is kind of... Nah, there... Okay, let's just put that away. I was going to say, the Zard's a little bit more profound on the English version compared to some of the other ones. And you can see that maybe that angle there. But then that angle spoils it there. That angle spoils it. The texture over the top of the card is crazy. This card takes place right after Kolo beat the out of Zar. <laughs> Funny. Funny. I like this alternate Golek Golek ass kicking explanation. <laughs> I think this is going to be a wild comparison. Do people care about this card in English? They don't, do they? Because it's a promo. God, this card is so good. There you go. I'm trying to get this angle on the Japanese one. I've never seen the texture on the wall. What's the wall? People fell off like caring about this card, eh? This one is meh. The art's crazy. Did we already do Umbreon in honor of the lunar eclipse? No, I'm coming up to it though. It's meh because it's cheap. Yeah, if it was expensive, would it still be meh? This card's a sick. If this was a, if this card was like the only chase card in Brilliant Stars, no one would ever say this was meh. If this was in Brilliant Stars, they, no one would be saying that's meh. Meh because perspective sucks. Wait, wait, wait. 
That is just crazy. I've got no words for that. That is just a wrong opinion. Met because perspective sucks. That's a that opinion is wrong. <laughs> That's one of the craziest takes I've ever heard. That was like the number one complaint when it came out. What? All I'm going to say is this, right? If you cooked up this banger, right? And then... I mean, that this is just art, right? This is just the world, right? You cook up a banger, right? It's sick. Alright, you slaved over this just... There's so much detail, right? Everywhere. Everywhere. Detail, right? And then someone just says, it's met because the perspective sucks. That would hurt. That would hurt. But that's the... That's... It's what you get with art. When you, you're putting your art out there, right? You're going to get people that say, this perspective is beautiful. I love what you did with the, with the perspective here. But then you're also going to get people that are just going to say it sucks. And you got to learn to just embrace the people that say it's good and not worry too much about the people that say it sucks. Because you can't... Your criticism is good, but then there's also like crazy takes. Like the, the perspective could have been better is a better take. The perspective is busy. Fine. But the perspective sucks. Come on. Rain it in a little bit. You don't have to just like take a dump on people. It doesn't suck. Definitely doesn't suck. Damn. Zanga fan just called you a Redditor. That's crazy. Now don't turn on the guy. Just like, you know. You guys are saying it sucks, man. I love Mewtwo's. Yeah, me too, bro. Why is this tight? It's so tight in there. I love this card. Insanely underrated card. Just a forgotten card. If I ever made like a top 10 underrated card video, I think I would have this as like number one. Can't. I'm all, I'm okay if you don't like something, but don't just say it sucks. Unless it like, it really stinks. Unless it, it like really, it's got to like suck bad. This stinks. Not this. Pump Lost Origin. I think I pulled this in Lost Origin. Difference isn't too bad. It's pretty similar here. You got the saturation again, but we're used to that. You know, red is a little bit pink in English compared to Japanese. Pikachu's a little bit more yellow. The cheeks are a little bit more red. You do have the god rays in Japanese. Not super fine, just thick. They're kind of there in English. They're kind of there. It's good. I think I like the English version. Charizard Expedition is one of the few cards that's objectively bad. Agreed. Yes, agreed. I'm with you there. Those are both good. I don't think TPC I would ever start using AI. It would be very sad. It's been very sad to see a lot of companies start using AI though, which is crazy. This card's also underrated. Just forgotten about card. God damn, it's Pikachu VMAX with red in front. It's crazy good. Equally good in English and Japanese. Actually great. Obviously, again, much more such much. I think much more saturated than any of the other cards we've looked at. This is very red. This is very red. Why is this so red? What's up with the Brilliant Stars negativity? I don't know. What is the Brilliant Stars negativity? I've been out of the loop. 
It's red because it has red. Astute observation. The top, like the top half of this card is like very pink, very red, right? In English. Not so much in Japanese. I thought you said people don't like one of the cards because it's brilliant stars. Nah, but we're talking about the promo. Someone was saying that they don't like, that people don't like the promo. Brock Lorenzo, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream, bro. We were talking about this card. Both of these, all, all, of, all of these, to be honest. People don't really care too much about this card because it's a promo in English. Promo. But if it was a brilliant size chase card, you can guarantee that people would be going crazy for it and the price would be reflective of that. Somebody said, Japanese saturation. Comet. What's a good comet, okay? Uh, Japanese saturation and sky color gives a much better impression that the scene is in a stadium. Agree. Yes, agree. The pink and the red there up in the top left is much more distracting. Doesn't give a very big stadium feel. Agree. I like this card, actually. It cooks in, um, it cooks in Japanese. This is wild in Japanese, but it, they did a pretty good job in English. They did a decent job. They got, they tried in English, but man, the Japanese one just clears. Just wow. Do I grade any cards? Not really, no. I'm too lazy. <laughs> Is this card underrated? Yes. I mean, it's Arita, so like it's one of his best cards. It's an Arita special art. It's one of his best cards. Very underrated. This is a card where the texture really elevates the card. Like the, it elevates the illustration. It's an example of the texture elevating the illustration like massively. They definitely did not cook in English. They tried, they, they tried, it's kind of there. It's again, it's that extra layer on top that just flattens the whole thing. Wild. God damn. Colors. Yeah, I mean, it's the same story. Same story, one same story. It's just green. It's about the same. Not too crazy. Am I going to compare 151 later? I really need to open up my 151 mail. So I can't actually do 151 in this stream. I actually have found this really fun though. So I'm going to try and get more cards to do this with. Wrong sleeve. This is a. No, oh, actually, I don't like. Don't like those sleeves. Do I have the Rayquaza VMAX from Blue Sky Stream? No, I don't. Unfortunately. You know what's crazy? Would see. I would see that card for uh, two hundred eighty thousand two hundred eighty thousand yen in Japanese card stores. Right when I was in Japan a couple of weeks ago, and then in some stores you'd see it for that price as a 10. So the raw was the same as the PSA 10. That's one really weird thing about Japan, um, which I'll talk a little bit about or a lot about in the videos that are coming. Slabbed prices were like actual deals in Japan. It's crazy.
So I'm saying you can still make money off cars? I don't know. Don't fucking, I don't know, man. You guys and money. This is a sick card as well. Kinda gets there in English. Kinda. Actually, it's not bad in English. It's pretty good. Hey, thank you, Sigma G. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, bro. Probably because there's not a whole lot going on. Yeah, that seems to be the trend, eh? This, the, the more simplified a card is, the closer the English version is. But as the cards are more detailed, whether it's the illustration, uh, the colors or the textures, the harder it is to compare. It doesn't compare. Oof. It's good in English because the texture isn't important. Yeah, it seems to be... Because there's not really a whole lot of texture on the Japanese version. It's the pretty stock standard paintbrush, brush stroke. I've noticed that with English, the texture on the same card can be different in intensity depending on how the printer was feeling. Really? Is that a thing? I've never noticed that. Because I don't go through that m too many English cards. Wouldn't surprise me though. Let's have a look at this. We got an Umbre on here. Rare Kawaiyo L. Really? Come on, man. Is it just because of the perspective makes Umbreon look small? I don't care. This card corks. The, the duality of collectors. Rare L versus my favorite of the Umbreons. This is such a good card. It's his toes. I've, I've... The toes ruin it for you? Come on, bro. It's literally Karen's Umbreon. <laughs> yeah, look, the perspective is weird. It makes Umbreon, it means that Umbreon is really small or Karen is really, really big. texturing on this one in Japanese. I'd say it's really close in English. It's really close. It's pretty good. It's a cook. In English, it's a cook. That was your best card pick up from Japan in Feb. You focus more on plushies? Really? Fair, fair. I don't know how much this is now. I can't imagine it's very expensive though. Which card feels better? I feel like you should be looking at the regular full arts and the hypers because that's where the texture makes pattern and similar. 
The hypers is annoying that I don't have them on hand. I agree. We did do um, regular EXs, Vs, Vmaxes, GXs earlier. Yeah, it, it means that either Umbreon is small or Karen is huge. Because she's just about, I mean, like if she stood up, she'd be, you know, coming up to Umbreon's net. It's 5,000 yen in Japanese. There you go. It's gone up. Stonks, guys. Get on it. That's it for that side. Which means we're onto these now. Gonna prime Olivia. Black and white English versus JP is brutal. I wish I could do the comparison. I'm sure you've done it though. I feel like you've kind of done it. If not, you can definitely do it. Alright. Let's look at the Eevee Heroes cards. Any excuse to rip them out. Poker Rev has entered the chat. I briefly saw that. Is that smoke or is that is that smoke and mirrors? Is that a thing or? God damn, this card is so good. Why am I getting out that version? I've already got it. I want to get a Vaporeon. I don't think I've ever actually done this comparison. It's got an Emperor Pikachu. Hang on, buddy. I'm good, man. Hey, read on. What's going on, buddy? How you been? very close but there's just something about the Japanese version that just hits a little bit different it is very close though it's just the extra bit of detail on the Japanese that does it for me there's just something missing on the English one Why do I sleeve cards in penny sleeves and not something like Dragon Shield? Because I find that penny sleeves fit inside loader binders better. It's like a tight, snug fit and the card doesn't really move around much. Like the texture on this isn't even that profound, but just something about the English version just looks a little bit better. Is JP centering generally more consistent? Yes, I would say yes. It's not as egregious when a um, 
An English a Japanese card is off centered compared to an English card. It's much more noticeable. Well, read on. The thing that we've kind of found through the whole stream is that some of the English cards actually do look a little bit better in English, even though the texture isn't the same. Sometimes they just hit a little bit better. Um, I would not say that is the case for the Vaporeon here. There's not a, like, there's no, like, crazy profound texture. There's not like a spiral like there is on the Giratina or the God Rays like there are on um, like the Palkia and stuff. But like, it's just the subtle thing. Like the Coral or like the Seaweed just being on the same layer as the Vaporeon. Whereas in the English one, it's like kind of flattened out by the texture. You can see it there. But this is like, this benefits greatly from having no texture over the Coral. But because English cards can't replicate that effect of different parts of the illustration having different texture, like multi-layer, multiple, multiple um, levels of embossing, it's like... It's not the fact that you can see the coral, it's just the fact that holistically, like looking at the whole car, it just does something. I don't know, it's it's not the... Or the it's not the it's, I don't know, it's weird. It's not the fact that you can see the seaweed, it's just the fact that it's together with the Vaporeon. Very hard to explain. But as a whole, like, it just feels better when you look at it. For me, anyway. Vaporeon also has toes in this card. Let's have a look at the Umbreon. Honestly, pretty good. Pretty close. It's actually very good. The Umbreon is capturing um, the Grimmsnarl, the Pinsar, and the and the Umbreon on different layers to the brick wall and the background in the same way that the Japanese card does. Lines around the moon are way more pronounced in the JPN version. Probably, yes. Yeah, they are for sure. So the texture helps there. But as a whole, it's actually pretty good in English. The English version is not bad. Like, it actually does a really good job. Immediately, someone said that immediately they can tell looking at the English version versus the Japanese. Yeah, there's definitely something going on with the different markets, you know, not sharing their full texturing techniques, but I can't really... Anything I say would just be speculation, adding to a rumor. Although, they kind of do capture the moon texture there a little bit. Nah, the English version does... Done, they've done a really good job with the English version on this. The Japanese version is better, but the English version is very, very close to it. I'm glad I did this because I, I have never actually looked at them side by side. I've always just been presumptuous and been like, the Japanese version is better. Don't talk to me about the English version. But they're actually kind of cool. Interesting how some cards do it better in English than others. Yeah, there's more layers. There's multiple layers on the Japanese version, always. English, it's like one same layer. All right. This is the one you have been waiting for. I will not tease you any longer.
Before I do that, let me just put my um. Oh, actually, no. There's a few though. We're gonna do. We'll do. We're gonna do three of these. Hang on. Let me cook. Almost forgot. Is this because I want to put my cards back before I wreck them? I don't want to risk wrecking them. Now we're going to do the big hitters now, right? Is the Umbreon rare in Japan or does every shop you go to have one for sale? Um, they are there for sale, but it is a combination of rare and expensive. It is typically about 3,000, 2,800 Australian dollars. So it's about... 2,000, 1,800 US dollars. One day, Kygus. When I make it, Kygus, that's when I'll get it. It's my reward for making it. Mm, why is this in a perfect fit? What was I cooking? It's an accident. Why didn't it happen? I don't like doing this one. This is, makes me nervous. Only because they're worth a lot of money. I love this card. I don't like the English version. I think the saturation ruins it. Makes it too warm. It's night and day in Japanese. Oh man, like the sky texture is honestly not bad in English. It's okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let him cook. Let him cook. It's there, you can see it. You can see it on one particular angle. You can see it. Not bad, not bad. It's pretty much on every angle in Japanese though. You don't like the sparkle? It's so crazy. It makes the card look so good. That is just missing on the English version. I pulled this out of a pack too. That was crazy. Just out of a loose pack after a league night. How much is this worth now in English? This is the least valuable one, isn't it? Of the VMAX special arts. I just think perfect fits are an accident waiting to happen. You're very likely to like squish your card, bend it when you try and push it out. Only 150 US, that's crazy. Compared to like the price of a booster box. What? That's... Doesn't make any sense. That's why I think investing in Pokemon cards is just ridiculous. It's a, it's a complete crapshoot. The booster box price compared to the chase, like the price of one of the chase cards, it just doesn't make any sense. It's not proportionate. It's just stupid. It's dumb. It is just random lottery. There's no sense to any of it. So which do you like better here? English or Japanese? Surely it's gotta it's got be Japanese. Persuasive is leaning towards English. It's gotta be, it's gotta be Japanese by a mile. Yeah, this is one where the English just kinda doesn't call. That's what I'm saying. The Umbreon, like we looked at before, the Umbreon V in English honestly wasn't that bad. The English Leafy on VMAX doesn't do a great job. Just asking. I'm allowed to ask. I'm. Well, I can't even. Fine, I'll stop engagement baiting my own chat. My bad. All 
All right, let me put these away real quick. I like the type of sparkle in JP. It gives more depth. It's super sparkly, bro. It's so good. I could look at it for days. What a card. It does make me want to open up Evolving Skies. We won't lie. Regon, you're saying run the polls? Yeah, I should have. I didn't have time to set up polls and stuff. I don't know. I'm not a big. I'm not big on polls. Cause you gotta wait for the polls to end. And we all know it's just gonna be English voted as the best every time. Swap the camera battery out, guys, real quick. Japan has sellers selling 10.7 gram EV Heroes packs for around 25 USD. It's kind of unreal. What? Is that the is that the weight of a hit? I didn't know that. That's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, that's quite hilarious. Nice beard. Thank you. I just didn't want to mess my skin up today. I didn't want to look baby face for the stream. Something that changed my whole worldview was someone saying that JP are how the cards were intended to be made originally and English are always just recreations. But it is the truth. It is, it is the truth. At the end of the day, they're just recreations. Really good, really good recreations. But, but copycats nonetheless. EV Heroes 2 when? Well, it's pretty much what Pokemon 151, isn't it? All right, this one will be interesting because I always, I always get the Umbreon out, but I never get the Sylveon out. It's already a Sylvia on clear dog. Japanese, that is, sorry. Such a good card. Don't know, the English one does a pretty good job. It's lacking the texture, but the sparkle is well and truly there. Sorry, wife and kids. Japanese Pokemon cards over everything. I go too crazy now. Yeah, this card doesn't need texturing to look fantastic, so it kind of works really well in English. I, the English version is really great. Much closer to the Japanese than I would have expected. Probably because there isn't much texture on the Japanese to begin with, so... Sparkles are there, the colors are there. The saturation just makes Sylveon look a little bit more pink. It's not like how it changed Espeon's in in like entire tone, changed completely from like pink, from purple to pink. This just makes Sylveon look more pink, so it works. The English version is actually pretty great compared to the Japanese. It's weird how the TPCI glitter looks way better than Scarlet Violet SAR glitter. It is weird, isn't it? I've got the Miascarada there, we can look at it in a second. This is a very glittery card, so... Which Evolution SAR artwork do you personally prefer out of the ones you've brought out? Personally, Umbreon doesn't do it for me. I am a sucker for this Sylveon over the Umbreon. So 
Let's have a look at the English up close. It's going to be really similar. I want to say, I actually kind of want to say the English version looks better. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have an English Glaceon VMAX. It is very close, isn't it, XC? I'm going to go, I'm going to go English as well. It's odd, isn't it? Pretty good job. They cooked. I'm surprised. Like I said, my default is always English is better. Always my default. Alright, because that was so glittery, let's have a look at SV glitter. I don't have the Jolteon read on. So I can't do that one. This is so stupid. I do not know where I put the Miascarada EX or where I put <laughs> uh, some Concept Pack 3 cards as well. This is ridiculous. Honestly insane. I'm gonna have to do them next stream. No, gonna have to be next stream. I don't know where I put him. I had him ready. Sorry guys. No sex cat. Alright. Finale. Thought this was a professional channel. I know, right? I'm sorry I let you down, guys. We'll do a Scarlet Violet stream for this at some point. We'll do it in a couple of years, right? I gotta be more careful with these cards. I gotta be more careful. <laughs> I was about to sell an Umbreon, an English one, uh, a month ago. I'm glad I didn't. They are very close, aren't they? They're close though. Like, the English one isn't that bad. There's a lot more going on with the moon in Japanese. An extra bit of detail that the English eh, kind of captures. It is kind of there. The eye looks better in Japanese, yeah. It's hard to, oh, but then you get it there too. No, it is there. It's very close. The English looks like it has dimples to simulate brickwork on the towers. Good catch, trainer. By the way, thanks for coming down, buddy. You're right, they do look like dimples.
You could look at this card all day. The ocean looks a little bit more pronounced in the Japanese version, a little bit. Yeah, the dimples definitely look like an English dub, eh? Because the Japanese doesn't capture it as well. Doesn't at all. It's not there. Bros reaching. You can see it. It's, that's an English thing. It's a nice little touch. Uh, okay. The main thing is that Unreal's body in English still has that fingerprint texture over the top of it, unlike JP having a totally different type of texture for it. Okay. So the dimples help separate the Umbreon. Umbreon still has the, the fingerprint over the top of it, that extra layer. Yeah, but it's not there on Umbreon in the Japanese one. There is texture over it, but it's not that blanket texture. It's separate to the other, the other textures around it. Hernando, what's good, good buddy? Ah, uh, thank you, man. Too kind, too kind. I think they figured out separation better in SV. It's pretty close. I'm gonna say it's very close for these two. Closer than I um than I I traditionally give English credit for. The texture on the clouds. Oh yeah, true. Like the clouds are their own texture. Complete separation there. What's going on there? Look at the horizon. I've never... What's going on with the horizon there? Along this line. Is that like a print line? A split in the hollow. That is bizarre. If you've got a Japanese Umbreon, can you let me know if yours looks like this too? Can you can you see what I'm talking about there? It's the clouds? Is it? I don't think it is. Because on the left of this roof, there's it's not a cloud. It's got me feeling sus about my card. Check English. Yeah, it's there too. That's weird. Same thing. This is like there's like a line. Is it a cloud? Maybe it is a cloud. It must be a cloud. That cloud is like a straight line. Right above the horizon. It's garbage now. <laughs> it's weird. It's supposed to be that. Nah, I can see it. I can see it. Had me shook for a second. <sighs> Alright, let me do a quick check to see if I left the Miascarada in the other room.
found him. God. There's a whole stack here. Alright, I'm gonna put these away. We can look at the, uh... We can look at the Miascarada. Good, because I wanted to look at these. It's gone insane. Trying to figure out where I left these cards. And it's because I had the professor's research on the top of them. I'm actually feeling a little bit paranoid. Can you just guys just tell me if you can, you reckon you can see damage on this anywhere? Because this is my only copy. <laughs> it's fine, isn't it? Along the edge? That edge? It's fine. Nah, we're good. Whew, I was freaking out over nothing. Top edge looks wavy. You're just saying that, Josh. Sometimes I feel like a camera lens is more accurate. <coughs> that a camera lens is more accurate than the human eye. I see a small dent at top centerish on back. Nah, you you tripping. That's just dirt on your screen, bro. <laughs> May want to get my eyes checked. I got 2020 vision, bro. Metri, I do not have them, bro. I if I ever make it, that's what the first thing I'm buying. As like my my you know, people when they make it, they buy like a McLaren or whatever. I'm buying the VMAX Summon promo. That's what I'm buying when I make it. I ain't buying no McLaren. Hey, is it the time to sell these just quietly? Because I could do with the extra dosh. Because I do have two of these. Is, is it time to sell one? Should I get them graded? Like, what am I supposed to do with this card? It's the card of the generation. Try and grade both, get a black label, BGS. The English ones, that is. So I'm, I'm apprehensive about selling them because they are like the cards of the generation. Stretching you out moving those cards in and out so much. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. These were some of the comparisons I wanted to do before, but I didn't. But I feel like we've we've done them. These are the last two I want to do. I feel like we covered this when we looked at the Blastoise. Um, we covered the like the Blastoise has kind of been covered. I do want to look at the Concept Pack Three. Pokecune. This is crazy. It's actually crazy how much better the Japanese one is. Whoa. I, but it, it depends as well. Like, I know some people don't like that. I know some people don't like this glitter. No, I think it's considerably better in Japanese. English, personally, really? You kind of like how simple the English is? Much more washed out. The Japanese one is more saturated in this instance, which is kind of weird. Because usually it's always the other way around. The English is much more sat uh, flat. It's washed out. The colors are so different, eh? Oh, almost dropped it. 
Oh, this is a damaged one, so it's okay. A little bit of damage in the bottom left corner. Almost dropped it, though. This one was actually a gift from Blendy. Absolute legend. Just coming into the chat real quick to say yes. <laughs> English feels like a bulk card. Japanese actually feels like it was from a special set. English isn't non-hollow. There's a hollow on it. It's just barely there. Hardly. Weird. It's like almost like a reverse hollow. I prefer the Japanese much, much more than the English. The snowflakes pop more in English, yeah. They don't really pop a whole lot in Japanese. Just depends on the angle, but you get all that glitter. Someone wanted to see the oak real quick? I can do that for you. Pretty similar though. There's not a whole lot of difference, eh? This card doesn't have that much texture to it. I like the Pikachu stamp. I actually quite like the Pikachu stamp, but the Japanese stamp is better. But I don't mind the, Jap the English one. The way the text overlaps the artwork on English is very annoying it is, isn't it? It's a bit of a shame. The books are all textured separately on JP. Oh, well, they are too. Hey, let him cook. A real cook. A true cook. Mm, they just mesh in Japanese, in English. But Oak and Oak's book is on a different layer compared to the bookcase. Good eye. True. Good catch. Inza. Ingwai. Would I consider getting the simplified Chinese versions of the VMAX, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon will be available as promos and binders and releasing soon and would have the same texture? I probably should, eh? Realistically, I should consider it, eh? But I still ultimately do want to see those, um... I do want to see those Japanese ones as well. All right. Miascarada, let's do this final sparkle test, eh? Kilowatts, good morning. How'd you go to EIC, brother? It's coming down, man. I was just thinking about the Euro Bros. It's hard to catch. Really, this comparison needs to be done with a trainer card, an SAR. I think it needs to be done with a trainer SAR. I might have to pick up an English Iono Special Art Rare. Both look good, yeah. But I think this comparison is going to get to be done with an SAR trainer. Not so much the Pokemon. It's pretty good. It's JPN, again, because the Miascarada is embossed. It's that extra layer. Yeah, the English copy is too flat. 
Is there that line texture in Japanese and English? Is it just smooth? It's just, it's that Miascarada is on a different plane. It's on a different layer. It's on the front topmost layer compared to the rest of the card. So it sticks out, pops out a little bit more. Whereas on the English version, it's all on the same layer. It's flat. You can see the texture of the whole card goes over the top of everything. It's a little bit better though in SV than it is compared to Sword Shield. But when you put them side by side, you can see it. Definitely there. And yeah, Brensei. What's good, Brensei? Good to see you, buddy. The Japanese card stock is thinner too. I think that extra layer on the English one makes it all feel a bit thicker. It's close. <laughs> I should, I'm not saying you should get anything. I'm just, we're just comparing the pair. Can really see it in the landscape village thing under Miascarada's arm. Yes, you can actually. The village sticks out a little bit more in Japanese compared to the English version. True. Trade some One Piece cards. I'm not playing with for a full... An end full set from Noble Victories. I played some GLC. Nice, man. How'd you go on day one? Did you day two? Well, if you're playing side, you're probably day one. If you're in day two. Nice rainbow hollow there too, though. You can see just like a little bit of extra color on the hollow. Shine. still there in English, but it's much more, um, almost blurred, the shine. Am I going to do Skeledurge? I don't have an English Skeledurge. I think what I'm going to have to do is get a bunch of English SARs and do a proper SV comparison. But now that I know that a lot of different, um, English cards have different texturing, like, levels, like how we saw the Umbreon looks better than some of the other, um, special arts, or alternate arts in English. I think I'm going to start just getting more English cards and then just like explore the differences. No dirge, no. Oh, that was interesting. I actually quite like that. I, learned, I even learned stuff that I didn't even know um, by doing that. I really got to put a weight on this. Oh, we know that... Okay, so we know that most of the time the Japanese cards look better, but I still think it was worth doing. Cause like I said, I noticed some stuff with the English cards that I'd never seen before. That you kind of only notice when you put them side by side. Jago Beastar wasn't a bad call. Just kind of flaky. Yagi Maru, he used to work in a card printing factory and used his skill to show people how to find fakes. No, I'm going to check that out. Interesting. Yep, I'm going to go buy a bunch of Scarlet and Violet chase cards, I think, now. Start to slowly pick them up. Because I want to do that exercise with uh, Scarlet Violet. That was mostly Sword and Shield, wasn't it? Moonbrion's going to tank after this video and you noticing the line at the bottom. I don't think enough people are watching for me to control the market that way. <laughs> um, I think the first thing I do when I get that kind of pull is, yes, definitely it's going to be influencing the market. What was the result? <laughs> uh, the result, Elijah, is that some English cards actually look pretty decent or really close to the Japanese counterpart. Um, and in some instances, even look better. Just depending on how much texture detail is on the Japanese version versus the English. The irony from Shiny Treasure puts me off with the line near her face, makes the card look bent. I still haven't seen that card um, in my hand, so I can't make any comment there. Waiting for the shiny treasury X cards to keep going down in value because they keep going down. Corky Saito cards are going to moon if you had that kind of pull. <laughs> you just know I'm going to use that kind of leverage for evil. Genzo, Loki didn't even think this was a question. Neither did I. I mean, like, for the most part, the Japanese cards just look better objectively. But there are some weird instances where the English one's actually kind of cool. Am I going to do the Giratinas next time? The gold Tina JP difference is huge. I did it at the side of the stream. You'll have to rewind. It was one of the... I did it with the Palkia. I did do the Tinas though. But yeah, I'm going to call it there. 
I'm going to go back to editing the Japan videos because I do want to get those out for you guys in the next month or two. And I've got Perth regionals to get ready for as well. So I will not be streaming until next week uh, because in three days I leave for Perth or two days now. Jeez, I better go pack. Two days I leave for Perth. I've got Perth regionals Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then I'm back on the Monday. Probably won't stream the Monday, but I'll try and stream the Tuesday. I reckon I'll stream the Tuesday. Yeah, you can get Shiny Treasure EX boxes um, for retail or maybe even a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Yeah, gonna go to re uh, Perth and just lock up the invite. Just get that done. It's not in quite like the invite's not never in doubt. Never been in doubt this season. I just, I haven't played much the last two months. Melbourne didn't do as good as I should have. I might have sounded entitled there, but I just misplayed really badly in a round. So, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna lock up the invite. Not in doubt. But that's it. Thanks for coming down to the stream. Good to have you guys. If you are new, sub. If you haven't liked the stream, like the stream. It helps with all the good stuff. Uh, if you're at Twitch, you can drop a follow. I'm probably going to start doing more Twitch only streams um, as I pick up a little bit more gaming content over the next two or three months. And then see how they go. Maybe bring them over to YouTube as well. It's just that YouTube is it's all Pokemon cards, isn't it? It's Pokemon cards. That's what you're here for at YouTube. Don't worry, I get it. If you haven't abused J Love, jump in Discord. Please don't abuse me. I am human. All the recent sets are in stock on Amazon. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Banner being finally viable warms my soul. Short lived. Peace out, Redon. Thanks for coming down. Zanga, good to have you, bro. Guy from a crowd, as always. Good to see you. Nice seeing you again. Comet K, have a good one. Hernando, thank you always for your support. You're king. Inza, thank you very much. Thanks for the well wishes. Frisky Squid, glad you enjoyed it. Josh Faldaus, peace out. Sigma G, peace out. Genzo, thanks for watching. Dunois, Brense, take care, bro. Kygus, peace out. Kilowatts, thank you. Elijah, have a good one. See you, everybody. Kerry, take care. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Peace out, Rob Z. Am I seeing you in Perth? Peace out, Waffles. Good to have you. Go commit tax fraud. Have a good night. No. For legal reasons, no. Uh, likeable Nimrod, peace out. Oreo, take care, dude. Diego, have a good one. Thank you, as always. Eons, good vibes from Houston. Love Japanese Pokemon cards and only collect English cards with stamps or that aren't printed. He is a traditionalist. Eons, thanks, man. Glad you enjoyed the content. All right, guys. Peace out. See you later. See you next time. See you next week. Bye. Whoop. Bye. Bye. This is the one. Thanks as always, guys. Take care.